Oh, hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of Derp Your Hooves. Um, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial video on um, how to download and install custom liveries in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, I understand that you know it can be kind of trying for uh, people sometimes, especially if you haven't done it or you haven't done it much. Um, you know, uh, this is for PC users, obviously. Um, you know, I know there's additional liveries that you can get on the Xbox version, but right now, um, I'm just focusing on the, um, PC version. Um, so what we're going to need here is you're going to need a couple of programs, um, well, at least one program to unpack or unzip the um, folder that you're going to download. Um, so some people have WinZip. If you have WinZip, um, as long as it's a zip file, you can use WinZip. Um, I prefer 7-Zip. Um, I already have it installed on my machine, so I'm not going to have to install it. Um, and I can just show you right here. Here is the 7-Zip website. Um, most people are going to have a 64-bit version of Windows at this point. If you still have a 32-bit, you can download it there. Um, it's 7-zip.org.org. Um, just, you know, it's right here. You just click download, and it'll start downloading it. It's a completely reputable program. In my opinion, it's better than WinZip. Um... You know, and it's really easy to use, and I'll show you just how easy it is to use. But you'd have to download and install it like any other program, and it has a wizard. Um, well, I'm not going to go through how to install it. Um, I guess I could make another tutorial for that at some point, but you just have to download and install it. So that's 7-Zip. So what we're going to do is, you you know, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a livery, and I'm going to grab one of um, my own that's... I'm sitting on flightsim.to, and that's a great place to get custom liveries. Um, and yeah, I know I already have some of this stuff set up. I just have the windows open. Um, so like right here, I'm going to do an F-14 Tomcat um, that I've done before. And, um, you know, I did a clean reinstall of the sim not too long ago. So, uh, you know, I still have files that are missing. And this is a great way to just put them back on. And one of my own personal favorite liveries is this one. So, you know, you'd go here to flightsim.to. You know, you can go to flightsim.to. Here. You can go to flightsim.to. And you can go to liveries. And um, if you, you know, click on liveries or highlight the tab, it brings up a pop-up window. And it shows you, you know, what would you like. And we're going to do DC Designs F14. Um, and you can scroll through all the F14 liveries that are in here. Um, you know, like I said, and you just click on one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm in here too. Um, this probably just be a little more helpful. There's plenty of them here. Um, but again, I'm going to download one of my own liveries um, for the F14 probably towards the back page at this point and let's see hmm. I'm not seeing it here I'm seeing lots of them um, just trying to do this quickly this isn't really a now there's one of mine and I already have that one installed but you know one of the ones I do want to install let's pick one um, let's see it would be not the Tomcatters, it would be... No, yeah, maybe it is on the first page. That's interesting, or maybe it's not here at all for some reason. That's not right. Um, so, I'm actually not seeing it. So, I'm just going to go here, and I guess I'm going to have to fix that, and I'll just type in... And it'll bring up all my liveries, it'll be the same thing, and I would just say... Um, this is the one I want. So here it is. This is the one I want. And then I would hit download. And then it's going to count down. 
Um, and, you know, some of these um, liveries are for um, subscribers. And you click Start Download. Um, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to download to my Downloads folder. Um, so, I mean, it's free to sign up. You just have to go through the whole confirmation email thing. Oh, look, this is the B version. Okay. So, all right. And so then we have that. And I downloaded the file. And I can go into my PC. And I can go to Downloads. And there it is right there. So, there's my Tomcat that I just downloaded. And the first thing I want to do is, even though it's, you know, flightsim.to says that everything is virus scanned, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and scan it with Norton. Um, okay, it's Norton found no viruses and my antivirus is up to date. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it um, F14 Now, just as a place to put it. And I'm going to slide that compressed folder that I downloaded into F14 now and double click on it. And there it is. So this is a compressed folder. And if I open, if I double click it in, I'm using Windows 10, um, it shows me here's the folder and here's a bunch of stuff and my readme file, which in my readme file says this is exactly how you install it. Well, this may be confusing to some people. And because it's a zipped file, and Windows 10, um, it won't let you drag this folder out to where you need to put it. Now, I'm using Steam. Um, some of you may have downloaded from the Microsoft uh, Store. Um, I prefer Steam. I know there's two different locations for the community folder in both versions. So this is going to be for Steam viewers or Steam users. Um, I could always put the path in the description of the video so that you can find it, and it's going to be something very similar. So, moving on from here, here's um, what we have to do. So you would have installed 7-Zip before you did this, and you'd have it ready to go. And all you have to do if you installed 7-Zip right is right-click on the... Um, Compressed folder, and then I, look, I have in this, it, it brings up this pop up menu, 7 zip, and you can you know, open archive, blah, 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 all this stuff. You can extract it to a path. It's just easier to extract it here. And look, so now I have the compressed folder that I downloaded and a usable folder. I'm telling you, Windows 10. Um, you know, every machine I've used, it, it just fights with you if you try and pull stuff out of a zip folder. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so just unzip it. And now I actually have a compressed copy, the original copy, and this copy. So here's the file we're going to be working with. But we have to get it to your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 community folder. And there's also another trick to this. If you haven't enabled um, hidden files to be viewed and you don't know how to type in paths, then pay attention to this next step. So you're going to go into your local C drive. And I'm actually going to just double click on this PC shortcut um, I have it on my desktop um, you can also go down to your file explorer and open files down there however you do it on your machine you do it on your machine I'm pretty old school I you know <laughs> you know I like to put the PC shortcut back on my desktop um, but however you get to your C drive you get to your C drive so you can get to it from the file folder down here and find your C drive there. Um, like I said, if you double click your PC shortcut, if you still have one or you put it on there, it comes up. So you want to go into your C drive. That's my point. So you, I prefer to keep you know some windows open because we're going to be doing dragging and dropping. Um, you know, if you're more advanced, great. But this is just real simple. So, you're going to go into your C drive, you're going to double click it, and you're going to find the users folder, and you're going to double click that, and you're going to double click your username. Um, uh, 
you know, there's going to be more than one user in every computer um, by default. Um, so know what your username is. And if you're sharing it with other people, well, then there's going to be plenty of them. So I went to my C drive and then I double click users. I go to my username and then this is the problem. So I normally have um, my hidden folders uh, viewable because I'm not worried about someone hacking me, blah, 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 blah. So I'm making changes by accident. If anyone's going to make changes to my computer, it's going to be me and I'm going to be the one who pays for it. Um, so there's a folder called app data and it's hidden. So if you know how to type in the path bar, you can type in app data and it'll get you there. Or you can go to view and it says show hide. So you click on show hide. Actually, you click on hidden items and show hide. And now there's our app data folder because it's normally hidden so that you don't mess up your operating system and other programs. So now you can open app data and you want to go to roaming and then you want to find Microsoft Flight Simulator and since it's a custom livery it's going to be packages community so that's where you want to get to you want to get to your community folder in this long path if you got to rewind the video a couple of times i get it so here's where all of your custom liveries are going to be stored on the pc version of microsoft flight simulator steam edition um there's a community folder um, for the Microsoft Store users. Um, you would put it there. But this is where this file here is going to go. So all I got to do, well, it's not going to be necessarily this file here. Here's the next step comes in. So I'm just going to kind of stagger that window over to the side and drag this window over here and go back. And so now I have um, this folder here, right? I, I unzipped or decompressed um, the compressed folder, and I double-click it, and here's the actual file that we're going to drop into the community folder. And again, I have put it in the readme file. I put a readme file in all of my liveries. Uh, that basically tells you, here you go, and says copy or move the folder in quotes. The name of the folder that's the name of the folder to your microsoft flight simulator 2020 in parentheses community folders so if it's in parentheses that means these are the folders you're you're taking this one and you're putting it here so that's the folder you want now if you look at the name on it dc designs dash aircraft dash f14 dash vf1 or a V4, whatever, 1B, you look at the name, that's different than F14 Tomcat, F14B. If I drag this whole folder over, just this folder, when I go to start the, sorry, I'm calling it a game, and I know some people get upset about that. When I go to start the simulator, um, this folder itself is not going to do me any good if I drag it over. The simulators or the program's not going to be able to read it because it's not looking for this in the way the, the program's structured. It's looking for that. So I can copy it. I can... Um, I'm just going to move it. So I just take it and I move it to my community folder. And I dragged it out here. So I can actually move it back. Watch this. So I expanded my window. And I moved it over here. So I can move it back. And that's why I'm using this space here. So I don't accidentally drop it in one of these folders. I move it to the outside. I let go. And there it is right there. So I've actually, I haven't copied it. I actually moved it. 
So when I double click on this, now it's got all of the really cool stuff in here. It's got a thumbnail of the plane. It's got all the important files in the right format that the simulator can read. So I know that it's in the right place. So I don't have to mess around with any of this anymore. And I can actually, and I highly recommend that once you see that everything is working, you go back and you delete it and we'll do that at the end. So now I go ahead and I double click Microsoft Flight Simulator and hopefully I double clicked it because I clicked so fast. I did not. So it's going to load. And as it goes ahead and loads, it's going to take a couple minutes. Um, I might just fast forward this. Okay. So here we are and assuming that my art files are still good after sim update 8 and everything else is working this tomcat should now be in my community folder so I'm gonna go to my profile and I'm gonna go to my hangar and I'm already looking at an F14 here and I'm gonna go to liveries and well I mean if I did it right it's gonna be there but no actually <laughs> We're in the A folder, so let's go back, and we have to change aircraft. There it is, by the way. So we want to change to the F-14B, and it actually instantly loads. Now, this is not the one that comes with the sim. This is actually a different version of it. Um, this is, you know, uh, correct, as far as I can tell. Um, from the pictures I used, but anyhow, um, enough about, you know, my own livery here. Here it is, and that's how you add a livery. So, the livery's here, and, you know, let's say, okay, well, I mean, that looks really cool and all, and, you know, there it is. So, that's how you would add a livery to, um, your Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, on your PC. You know, as long as the art files are in there right and, you know, Microsoft hasn't released an update that just, you know, destroys um, third-party liveries, which they've done at times, um, it should work. And you might want to check that, too, because sometimes as they go on with um, their updates, um, they don't keep everybody informed of, especially, you know, people who are... You know, not charging money. Um, on what they're doing and what they're changing. And we just kind of get a surprise. The delivery doesn't work and we get a bunch of complaints. And then we have to go through and fix it and figure out what art files were changed. Um, anyhow, that's just my little gripe about that. But, you know. Um... So I'm just going to go ahead and, and launch the sim to show you that it's in the sim. Um, and here we go. We're at Norfolk. And that's... I don't like that. So... And this is actually something else that's happened since some update 8 is the cockpit view. So let's go ahead and and just lower our our HUD. I don't even remember where it is, but there was a uh, there was a switch. Oh, it's right here, HUD bright. So let's actually change that. It's been that long because that's just too bright. Wow, that's still kind of ghosty. Well, uh, it looks like uh, it looks like actually DC Designs is going to have to do some some texture updating because that's just too bright well anyhow that's how you do it um, and I'm pretty sure they're working on it they're really good at taking care of it but there you go there's the custom livery it's there and you know plane works and flies and all that cool stuff and that's how you would go ahead and you would install your custom liveries and it works the same for every plane Not just the F-14 Tomcat, as long as you 
have purchased the plane or downloaded the freeware plane. Um, you know, as long as the delivery was done right and you follow these steps, it will show up in the sim. And we're just going to quit it. And quitting it doesn't take as long as launching it. So there's one last thing that you want to do. And this is just so that you can save space on your drive. Um, once you know it's there, if you ever want to make a copy of your community folder, I mean, I advise that. Um, that will take up a lot of space, but you, so wherever you downloaded the original file, like the zip folder, I have it right here in F14 now. I have all kinds of, you know, I mean, that's what, 38.4 megabytes, you know, so you can actually just go in here and you can say, well, I already have it. I, I don't want, you know, two copies of it, you know, or three copies, but actually two copies. So you can just, you know, highlight them, delete them, and don't forget they're still on your computer until you empty the recycle bin. So don't forget to empty your recycle bin. And that way you'll actually be able to save on some drive space. So again, um, if you have your hidden folder still hidden and they are hidden by default, um, you have to go ahead and do that one step where you go to your C drive and you go to view. And I can show you again really quick, users, but it's already shown right here because program data, that shaded folder is there. But we go there and we go to the username and then app data is there. So, you know, maybe you don't always want your, you know, hidden folders out. So then you just go back to the view tab and uncheck hidden items and it'll disappear. And if you check it, the hidden folders come back, files and folders come back, and if you check it, they go away. So, um, that's actually just kind of a good little piece of housekeeping, and, you know, uh, if other people are using your computer, you leave it unlocked. And sometimes you don't want those hidden folders visible. So, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you go ahead and you install livery in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, custom livery um, for the PC users. So I hope that this video was helpful and educational um, for anyone who may be struggling with this. And um, if you like what you saw here, uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and I'm always happy to have you guys, you know, share my stuff if you you know think it could be useful to someone else um go ahead and do that and i look forward to seeing you guys in the sky